Daniel, a couple things. Can you, first of all, just talk about what it felt like to, to be out there and how you thought you played today generally? And, and also, what do you think could have happened if you guys gotten a stop at the end and gotten the ball back one more time? Uh, to answer your last question, Anytime when it's under two minutes, you know, second in the second quarter, fourth quarter, it doesn't matter. You know, when we have two minutes left, our offense just kind of raises its its level of play, and um, you know, the defense played lights out all night, and they played they played great, and um, you know, we just didn't do do enough on offense, and um, you know, if, I don't like talking about what ifs and and things like that. So um, on offense, personally, it feels good just to be back and be uh, with my team and be able to uh, contribute in different ways, but um, I'm, I still don't feel like I'm there yet. Uh, there's a lot of times that I have one person to beat and I didn't, I didn't get the job done. So um, I just got to go back in the lab and continue to work hard because we have four games left and, um, you know, it's, it's all up in there and we got we to gotta take over. And now we're starting to play, um, you know, Pac-12 North, North teams and, you know, this is when it really matters. And um, you know, I'm not. I'm not trying to look at the previous games and say that they didn't matter or anything like that. But you know, this is this is the end of the season. We have to we have to grind through it. As the as the game progressed, what was USC's defense doing that made it a little bit more difficult to get your run game to build on your run game in that first quarter? Uh, you know, USC they they play hard nose, and um, you know they have a bunch of athletes all over the field, offense and defensively, and. Um, I don't. I wouldn't say that they were really throwing anything at us that we couldn't. We couldn't pick up. It was just we weren't executing on offense. It, it came down to that. You know, there's good play calls, and um, there was times where somebody we needed somebody to make a play. And uh, I hate. I hate. You know, trying to rely on one person to go up and make that. You know, climb the ladder and make the catch, or you know, put all the pressure on Jared to make a good throw and things like that. But um, you know, we have playmakers all over the field, and you know, when when their number is called, people have to step up and make plays, and myself included. So um, once again, we just didn't get the job done on offense. You know, defense, they played well well enough for us to win. It was just uh, we got to figure out, you know, where, where our edge is. And we had it at the beginning of the season, and for some reason we kind of lost it. So um, I hate, you know, trying to be stuck in a hole and having to, you know, climb up out of the hole late. And um, they just, and once again, we got to make plays. Daniel, you're a senior. How and it, you obviously haven't beaten SC in your four years. How does it feel like just not being able to get over the hump after all these years? It's bad, man. It's bad. It hurts. I wanted this game, and I know all the seniors wanted this game. Um, you know, this is this is a huge game for the community, uh, for Berkeley, for all the Cal alumni. You know, they they want everybody to to beat SC. Like that's it hurts. It hurts, to say the least. It really does hurt. Being here for five years and I can't find a way to ever beat SE. It's not a good feeling. Could you just talk a little bit about how this, maybe how frustrating this year has been just dealing with the injury and how you've kind of dealt with that, maybe how your teammates have helped you through some of those those frustrations? You know, I believe everything happens for a reason. And um, we have such great depth at running back that uh, you know my absence, it, it wasn't it wasn't anything tremendous. Um, we have we have people that can step up and make plays all over the field, and um, you know I just I, I have a lot of support from the team. Uh, everybody's trying to get me back and uh, keep my head up and things like that. And uh, it was frustrating not being able to go out there for the past four weeks and be a hundred percent and you know be able to contribute. But um, I'm better now. So uh, I'm blessed enough to say that I got out of today with injury free and um, I'm able to be able to go out there and practice and, and work and put 110% in to make myself that much better. But, um, you know, we have people all over the field to make plays. It's not, it's not a one person thing.